hey, it's a Star Wars three and three quarter inch reproduction figures. I was incredibly shocked to see this $3.99 for two action figures. This is not one, this is two. I actually have the original of these two. Um, I've had them since I was a kid. I don't, I think I got the names. Okay, it's a little confusing. They got the names on here wrong, and I think that's an homage to the originals having them wrong. Because I think this is Forlom and this is Zuckus. Because Forlom is a robot, and Zuckus, they just look a lot like with the bug heads. And I always kind of thought he was a, you know, like, on their planet, they make their robots look like them, which is this. You know, kind of like we make C-3PO look like a human's face. So that was the interpretation I had as a kid of it. And I definitely have had, I love... Oh, and they got a picture on the back, so I'm definitely going to be careful with this packaging just because I love this packaging. So on the back, we have a picture that I would have killed for when I was a kid. And it has all of the bounty hunters. Empire Strikes Back is by far the best of all three of the Star Wars movies. And it's sad that they never made more than three Star Wars movies, but at least we got three good ones. And Empire was my favorite. I think it's because whenever they got to the third one, it was a little too goofy with the Muppets. And I was a little grown out of that at the time. And I actually just picked him up at the flea market. I should have put him with me. I got him at the flea market. I didn't have, he was one of the only ones I did not have as a kid. Bosk was one of my favorites as a kid. Of course, Boba Fett was my favorite as a kid. Bosk was another one of my favorites. I still have my original Bosk. When I got this um, two pack from Amazon, I just kept Bosk in the container because it's like, I don't really care. The only thing that's different, he has a gun. Mine doesn't have the gun because yeah, the weapons disappear. I wanted the Boba Fett. I had the IG-8. This is the only one I did not like as a kid because it looks like a garbage pack. I just looks, I don't know. I just didn't care for him that much. Uh, yeah, if you want to see if you have the UPCs, I don't know how you do that nowadays because, you know, nowadays you got apps and everything to do this. So they come with these really awful cards. Um, the cards are really thin. And they look like they're weathered, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. But... They got his name is Forlom, which of course, to my knowledge, he's technically not Forlom. Even as a kid, I knew that they had him backwards somehow. But I didn't keep the cards, unfortunately, because mom didn't let me keep crap. Let's see if that leather. I kept. I actually do have his gun from original. I think his gun never came out of his hand. It seems like he's got that vinyl feel. Oh, he smells awesome. He smells like fresh vinyl, like a fresh, brand new car. All right, so let's see if his gun fits in his hand. I remember my gun statement are pretty darn good. I don't remember mine having such a long cut on his arm, like this, um, the way the he's covering his hand up. And if you take this off, which I did, it's like a, it, it's like a jumpsuit or something, like a puffy sleeves. So I took it off one time. And I was like, yeah, I don't really get into it. Yeah, like that right there. I think he okay. He don't. Yeah, they got this cape on correctly. He smells really good. Yeah, I'm just really stoked about this one. I should do a review with my other ones because I, I definitely got a, a little lunchbox that you get from like Party City or something. And it's got all of my uh, Empire Strikes Back. Because it's an Empire Strikes Back lunchbox. And I have a bigger lunchbox from the original series. And I got all my figures in it from it. I try to go with the originals first. And then sometimes, like, I love the new version of Zuckus they made. Um, like, God, like just about 10 years ago i think and it has all the articulation that we never had as a kid because this was basically not like this was just a repainted c-3po let's be honest <laughs> so repainted c-3po with zuckus's head on the top of it it may have been a slight bit of retooling i don't remember that gun now that gun if he came with that originally i don't remember it and i had both of these when they came out so that thing must have got lost like right away because i don't remember this maybe this is one of those things they're trying to do to make it like similar to the original, but with a slight upgrade or something, because that gun does not look familiar. I, I remember him having Boba Fett's gun or something. Let's see if he can even hold that thing. Yeah, we can. That's cool. He's definitely a lighter color than mine. Maybe mine just got darker over the years. Maybe mine has been laying out in the sun too much. There's really nothing on the back of this. That's kind of sad. If you're going to make it look like the originals, don't put... Why they, it, This is like a legal reason they put all this garbage on the back. It's like we don't need 15 different languages. Um, and we don't need all this. We want pictures. We want to see what... Like, you know, like the... Back in the day, we had pictures on the back of like, what you need to buy next. All right. The reason I pull this back down, I want to see what his gun looks like. Does that look like the gun? Oh, 
I don't think it looks like it at all. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure whose gun he has, but that looks nothing like that gun. Maybe it's, lean okay, so maybe that's his hand leaning on it, and it's completely not even like this at all. Maybe it's just like this, and there's no way of telling. So, yeah, that's not a good picture to, okay, hold on. If so, that, no, it's still like, looks like this is the biggest part of the gun. Yeah, there's no way of knowing from this picture. I guess he's got it turned this way instead of this way. So, yeah, there's no way. No way to know. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, for my childhood, I definitely still have this gun for mine. Um, if not with him, then it's loose in a box somewhere with him. But I still got these two figures from my childhood. The only one, again, I did not have was the garbage guy. And I don't have my original Boba Fett. I don't know what happened to it, unfortunately. So, I definitely recommend checking out your Ross and seeing if you can find these because they're worth it. I mean, my gosh, $2 each? Heck, yeah. I was, uh, I paid like 20 bucks just for the Boba Fett. It was a two-pack, but I didn't need Bosk. I already have a Bosk, and Bosk is so awesome. I just love Bosk so much. But, yeah, I always thought these were, like, really cool. I always feel like Forlorn was his sidekick. Like, the Zuckus, and this was Forlorn, kind of like, uh, this is the um, Luke Skywalker, and this is his 3PO kind of sidekick. Now, let me know in the information. Like, they don't go much into it in the movies, and I haven't read any Dark Horse comics with them, but... Um, they know in the Dark Horse comics that they actually do have totally different lives. Like, they don't, they're not related. They don't go together. But I felt like we had, in the party, we had him. We had four people here, and then these two were together. Although, you know, now you look at it, he could be the junk man, and this could be, like, his, uh, you know, creation out of a bunch of junk. Hmm, could be. I don't know. He didn't get too deep into it. The only one we really see a lot more of is Boba Fett, because he's in the third movie. Um... And that's about it. You don't really see any other ones at all. Uh, I definitely need to get some older uh, Dark Horse comics and see if they got more of a expanded fiction on them. All right, so it says Cold Calculating Droid Forlom. See, that's actually his name. They got it. And that's, that's kind of the cool thing. They put them on the wrong cards, like the original ones. So that's cool. Zuckus is not the name of this one. Cold Calculating Forlom. Uh, Forlom. Forlom and Gand Bounty Hunter Zuckus were summoned by Darth Vader to locate the Millennium Falcon and her crew in Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. And together, they make a deadly pair. Hmm. So it seems to imply that they were working together as opposed to the other ones working against each other. So, hmm, I don't know. Um, yeah, I definitely, I want to get some older, the uh, older good era of Star Wars comics before the uh, Disney crap, you know, came along and destroyed it. And see if uh, see if there was any more information about these. If you know anything I don't know, which is a lot, let me know in the comments. Go ahead, do it. Say some comments. Except, be nice. Don't tell me how crappy I am. I know I'm not awesome. But I think you're awesome for being here and spending eight minutes with me.